are you talking about here? Uh, Big Jim, there's Ryan Logan, and in studio, it's Jack Hoffman. We call him Jax. We clap for everybody in radio. How are you, man? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Good, man. So tell everybody first, and what's now you're from Centerline, right? Centerline, Michigan. Okay. Yeah, yeah get closer to that mic there. I know it's yeah. like you had to lean into it a little bit there. Um, you're walking across the country. Yes, this will be my third time. I'm uh, <laughs> crossing from Dana Strands Beach, California, all the way to the top of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. How many miles? Uh, it'll be almost 3,000. And you're going to do this solo? Uh, in 55 a, days? Is that what I saw was the goal? The, the uh, world record is an average of over 55 miles a day. Okay, that's where I saw the number. Okay, so yeah. 50. I think it actually comes out to about 49 days. Now, you said you've done this before. Yes. Not this specific walk, but you've done cross-country yes. before. Yeah, I've crossed the United States twice. Uh, last summer, I walked from Sarasota, Florida, all the way to the Salute Our Warriors event in Rochester Hills, Michigan. And then in 2019, for St. Jude's, I walked from Newport Beach, California, to Tybee Island, Georgia, in 79 days. Jax, where does this come from? Where where does this, I mean, and by the way, helping out the Fallen or Wounded Soldiers Fund, we have the Jax Walk uh, on Facebook. I think we have that linked up with our Facebook Live here on WCSX, and then also jaxwalk.com, right? Yes. A J-A-X. J-A-X, W-A-L-K. Where did this start? Where did this come to you? Where, like, this is something I, I, I got to do? Uh, it really started uh, just getting my myself in order. I, w- I was overweight, you know, kind of unhappy. I think a lot of people uh, just kind of get in that rut. And just decided to change my life one day. Started walking, started eating healthy. I, within the first 90 days, I lost about 50 pounds. And then after about a year of doing it, I was in good enough shape. And it was always kind of a childhood dream, of, like walk across America. So I decided, I, I packed up my things, went up to California and, and headed out from there. I originally planned to do it in 100 days and ended up finishing in 79. What was the first one like? Uh, unbelievable. I mean, just an absolutely unbelievable experience. The people, um, just, uh, I walked uh, out in the desert during the super bloom. I had no idea it was even going on when I was out there, and uh, just the whole desert was in full bloom. But you go through every emotion that you have out there. You you don't have to just be able to survive the road, but be able to survive yourself. See, that that's the part of it. And it's interesting, and, and you know what people are thinking right now as they're listening. Forrest Gump. Of right, running back and forth across the country. When you watched the movie, did you identify in some level with him trying to clear his mind? Um, I mean, a little bit. I, don't, I didn't really think about it too much. I've been called the punk rock Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the third time doing this. Now, you served. You were in the Army. Yep. And you've got a family. This is one of those. Your family was served as well, right? Yes, lots of family. My mother is the president of the Ladies Auxiliary. My uh grandfather helped build the vfw over in center line wow so um uh, just quite a history with the military all my brothers and sisters everybody served and does it get hard i know it's a stupid question to ask what what is the hardest part about this walk for you oh uh, it's really it's, it's hard to say um it, i don't even really think about it, it it's just something that has to be done and just go out there and, and just go like like of course it gets hard like you know, my body starts to deteriorate. Uh, I'm, I, I almost end up a skeleton every time I finish these. Just well, you're the not a big, I mean, you're a big guy, but this you, is heavy for me right now. So how much weight will you lose? Oh, 20 pounds at least. Which you don't have another 20 pounds there. So no. calorically, how much are you taking in every day? Um, Between about eight and 10,000 calories a day. Yeah, cause, and, uh, and still losing weight like crazy. Right. So you're getting your 10,000 steps in on your Apple Watch. Oh, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. 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 Closer to 100,000. Every day? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Dang. I need to start doing some more. What yeah. do you do when you got to go to the bathroom? Uh, Mother Nature provides. That's what I was wondering. I'm sorry. That was my No, no, question. no. We're all, we're all curious about this, Jax. I mean, everyone's listening and going, he seriously does this. And you put, you keep, seems like the way you keep increasing this, and this is an amazing walk. Again, helping out the, the Fallen and Wounded Soldiers Fund information. Jax Walk. We have the link up on our Facebook, uh, Facebook Live, but then jaxwalk.com, right? Yes. Okay. To make a donation. Yes. Uh, we've raised $256,000 so far, and I haven't even started, you know, thanks to the Seashawn Foundation. 
Who's that? What's that? The uh, the Seashaw uh, Foundation. They they have sponsored my walk this time and also generously donated two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow. wow, wow. And then I I would imagine too that y- the stories that you learn from supporting veterans, the men and women that you meet doing this, is something that has to resonate with you as well when you're making this journey. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's just the communities. We're so much more united than we're portrayed to be. Uh, you go out there, uh, race, religion, politics, doesn't matter. Somebody sees somebody that needs help, they're, they're like right out there, like, what do you need? Water, food, clothes. Yeah. They have no idea what I'm doing. So wait a minute. So while while you're, do- so that's what I wanted to get into. You're just walking across the country, and you're you're an imposing guy. You're how tall are you? Six six three. Six three. Yeah. With the mohawk. Seven. Okay. <laughs> Comes walking down the hallway. I'm like, hello. Okay. And men and women see you walking on your own across the country. Yes. Tell us about some of the offers of help that you've received. I mean, all kinds of water, food, um, even places to stay. Uh, they offer me a ride, even though I never take it. But just people are just incredibly generous and kind out there. And that's what really unites us as people. Yeah. We, we say it all the time in the show. Nobody can help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Right. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. and that's an example of this. Jack's Walk, J-A-X Walk. Can you hang out for a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. All right, don't go anywhere. <laughs> He's going to go across the country. See what I did there. <laughs> hey. It's Big Jim's house, CSX. Morning.